So I've managed to get fossils and archaeology working with biome so plenty. Why am I in VR? Good question. How did I do it? Well, let me show you. Normally, you would use prehistoric spawns add-on to get dinosaurs to spawn. The problem with it is that, that it doesn't support non-vanilla biomes. So I've said fuck you and instead used custom mob spawner. This means that I can define in which biomes should each dinosaur spawn, including BOP biomes. It has only one problem. The dinosaurs can spawn only on vanilla grass. Also some aquatic dinosaurs don't spawn, I don't know what's the problem with them. If you have seen my video on mock creatures and biomes so plenty, you know there's a way to replace modded grass with vanilla one using world gen block replacer. I've used the same method here. It works great in most of the biomes, but I didn't get any spawns in desert or mesa biomes. The solution to this was to get some grass blocks spawn in these biomes. I've used world gen block replacer to change small percentage of sand and terracotta to grass blocks. Some of you might not like this, so I've included optional config that doesn't replace sand or ant terracotta. But keep in mind that you might not get a single dinosaur spawn in these biomes. Now I will show you how to get it working and then how to customize it. First, download the archive linked in the description below. It contains all of my config files. Extract it and put it somewhere on your computer. Then open .minecraft folder. After that, go inside mods. Download all the required mods and put them here. Leave this window open and launch Minecraft. Go into single player and create new world. Once it's loaded, quit Minecraft. The reason why we did this was to create all the important mod files. Open file explorer again. Go back to that Minecraft folder. Now open the extracted folder you have downloaded earlier. You have two options. If you have never tinkered with entity biome groups config file, which will be almost everyone, Open easy installation folder and copy the config folder inside the .minecraft folder. And yeah, that's it, you are good to go. If you have tinkers with something in this file and you want to keep it, go into boring installation and copy the config folder into .minecraft folder. Then go inside config, custom spawner, overworld. Now open entity biome groups and FAA biome groups only from the downloaded archive. Select all text in downloaded file and paste it inside entity biome groups. If you already have lines containing fossils and archaeology something, you should delete them and then paste in the text from my file so the game isn't confused. Save the file and close everything. Launch Minecraft. You can delete the world we have created earlier or you can keep it, the choice is yours. Create new world or launch existing one. As you can see dinosaurs are spawning now so everything should be working. Now I am going to show you how to customize it. If you don't want to grass blocks in desert or mesa biome, you have two options. The first is to go to custom config folder inside the downloaded archive, select the version you want to use and copy this file into config folder inside .minecraft folder. The second is to go into mods tab inside Minecraft, click on world gen block replacer and hit config. Now go inside replacement percentage. Here you can change the percentage of blocks that are being replaced. The value goes from 0 to 1. You can set these values to 0 to disable the replacement of these blocks or you can set your own value if you feel like there is too much or not enough grass. And yeah, that's about everything. I hope this video helped you. If it did, you can support me by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. It means a lot. And as always, love you all and stay dank.